Let's get to our top story this morning. Uh, President Biden taking more heat uh, for his handling of classified documents found at his private residence. This comes after the discovery of a fourth round of documents over the weekend. The FBI found those classified records at the president's Delaware home. They had a 13-hour search. Again, this was a consensual search. Uh, and this morning, the president is actually facing unrest within more members of his own party. Uh, the number two Senate Democrat saying the Biden, that Biden has, quote, lost the high ground in a political back and forth. Our Allison Harris is joining us live from the White House with the latest on all of this. Allison. Good morning, Adrian. A White House aide says it was President Biden who said offer up access to the House. And it was that invitation that led to what's being called a comprehensive thorough search by the FBI performed without a search warrant for 13 hours late Friday night. The president and first lady were not there for the search. The president's attorney says FBI agents went through memorabilia, handwritten notes, to-do lists, binders, and old materials dating back to his time in the Senate. They found and took six classified documents as well as some notes. We don't know the classification level of the contents. The White House continues to say that it wants to maintain the integrity of the DOJ investigation by not revealing information like that. And we're continuing to hear the White House talk about the extent to which they're cooperating and how seriously the president takes all of this. Now, this morning, it's not just Republicans that are saying that this is a big deal. It's unbelievable how this could happen. It's totally irresponsible. Let's be honest about it. Uh, when that information is found, it diminishes uh, the stature of any person who is in possession of it because it's not supposed to happen. Biden called it uh, t totally irresponsible, but yet he's guilty of the same sin, if you will, uh, by taking these documents home. And you also have Senator Chris Coons, a close ally of the president, saying that this is not an issue that's keeping Americans up at night. But time and again, polls show that this is an issue that Americans do take seriously. Adrian. Allison, there's also a big news this morning about the president's new chief of staff. Tell us about that. So the news is that Ron Klain, who has held the position for two years, is going to step down nearly, he's held that position nearly a year longer than most people last in that job. Most last about 15 months. He's going to step down after the president's State of the Union address. That's on February 7th. And we now know that Jeff Zients, who you might have seen in the briefing room speaking as the White House COVID czar, will take the position. Former Press Secretary Jen Psaki tweeting that the next two years of this presidency will be about keeping a tired team under fire, boosted and focused. She says there's no one better than science to do that. Adrian. All right, Allison Harris for us. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.